A few months ago, he was a regular college kid with a remarkable talent. But in just a short amount of time, Darius Shepard went from singing on the biggest stages to being too sick to stand. New here at 10 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall shares his story from trial to triumph. If you know Darius Shepard, you know one thing about him. I live and breathe music. But in February, his chest felt tight. Every time I, I tried to lay down, I would like drown. In weeks, his diagnosis for the flu changed to cardiomyopathy, his heart severely enlarged. He may not have realized that he'd been sick for a while. The doctor said they didn't know how I was surviving with the heart as big. They, it was barely pulsing. So his name was added high on the transplant list and the waiting game began. I, I could not lift my arms. It, it hurt so much. I had to like audibly like say out loud. I was like, okay, God, I trust you. Singing all the while. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in me. I always wake up with a uh, a hymn, uh, This is the Day. And just because it is the day, you know, that God didn't have to give me. All I really wanted to do is just take him like he was a little baby and caress him, you know, and let him know that everything was going to be okay. At his lowest point, the phone rang. I got the call, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. He got a heart in 10 days, baby. The stars were just aligned. You know, it's one of those cases where you feel like, had it happened any differently, you don't know if the outcome would be as good. When Darius woke up, the first thing he did was test his voice. And I was like, okay, I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. This is the day that the Lord has made. You can hear the romance in his voice. The recovery is long and hard. Like walking up the stairs, you know, for the first time took me 10 minutes. Darius takes 32 medications a day to prevent his body from rejecting his new heart and to build his immune system. I had so much medicine that I had to alphabetize it. He set up this GoFundMe to help his parents cover the cost of his care. I can't thank St. Luke's enough for what they did, not just for Darius, but for our family. I got the new heart, but I feel like we all got a change of In of all he's been through, everyone around him is still smiling. Because he's always smiling, for one thing, he, um, he's got a light inside that just shines. We're really looking forward to getting to know him over the, over the years. You can hear the second chance that he has now. You can hear that he is not taking anything for granted in his, in his song, in his voice. Um, there's a meaning behind it, baby. That's what I hear. Dia Wall, 41 Action News. Just amazing. Um, doctors at St. Luke's say recovery can take up to a year on something like that. It's been a month since Darius had his transplant. His heart is getting stronger and his numbers are getting better with each visit. And I'm guessing his voice is just as strong as it was before.